Turkey's TB3, the stealthy sea skimmer. Redefining maritime dominance. In the choppy waters of the eastern Mediterranean, where geopolitical currents run as deep as the seabed, Turkey is charting a bold new course in naval warfare. Enter the Bayraktar TB3, Baykar's latest unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, a carrier-based marvel that's not just skimming the waves, but reshaping the rules of engagement. Unveiled as a naval evolution of the battle-proven TB2, the TB3 isn't your average drone. It's a low-flying phantom designed for ultra-low altitude operations, clocking speeds up to 200 km/h, 124 m cmip, while hugging the sea just 3 meters, about 9 feet above the surface. This isn't hype. It's a tactical edge honed from real-world testing, including its historic debut aboard the TCG Anadolu in November 2024, where it became the first armed drone of its class to launch and land on a short-deck carrier. As global navies grapple with contested seas, the TB3 stands as a testament to Turkey's ascent as a drone superpower, blending indigenous innovation with lethal precision. Born from Blue Water Ambition, the TB3's Origins The TB3's story begins in 2020, when Baykar CTO Selçuk Bayraktar announced a vessel-optimized successor to the TB2, tailored for Turkey's blue homeland, Mavi Vatan Doctrine, a strategic vision asserting Ankara's maritime rights across the Mediterranean, Black Sea, and beyond. Fast forward to October 2023, the prototype's maiden flight coincided with Turkey's Republic Centennial, a symbolic nod to national resilience. By March 2024, it shattered altitude records at 33,000 feet, powered by the indigenous TEI PD-1170 engine, a 172 HP turbodiesel that delivers 24-plus hours of endurance and a 2,000-plus kilometer range. Physically, the TB3 scales up from its predecessor, a 14-meter wingspan, 8.35-meter length, and max takeoff weight, M-Tau, of 1,450 kilos, with 280 kilo dedicated to payload. Folding wings enable seamless carrier ops on the TCG Anadolu, Turkey's repurposed amphibious assault ship turned drone mothership. Its avionic suite, featuring Aselsan's Acel FLIR 500 electro-optical infrared targeting pod and potential ASA radar integration, ensures all-weather, beyond-line-of-sight BLOS, control via encrypted SATCOM. Add silent electric augmentation for low-noise propulsion and you've got a platform that's as stealthy as it is versatile. Stealth in the Spray – Low Altitude Mastery what sets the TB3 apart is its sea-skimming prowess, a feature that turns radar horizons into blind spots. Flying at a mere 9 feet above the waves, it exploits the Earth's curvature to evade detection. Surface radars struggle to see beyond 20-30 kilometers at such heights, buying precious time for approach. This isn't theoretical. During the Seawolf Y 2025 exercises, October 2025, two armed TB3s launched from the TCG Anadolu in under 50 seconds, executed precision strikes with MAM-L and MAM-T smart munitions, and returned flawlessly, one even looping back for a carrier trap. Paired with the Akinci UCAVs Tolan, Tiber 82, and Kemen Kesh 1 bombs, the demo showcased networked lethality real-time data sharing across platforms for coordinated hits on simulated naval and land targets. These capabilities aren't just for show. In January 2025, the TB3 fired its first live MAM-T round, nailing a target with pinpoint accuracy via laser designation. Six hardpoints allow for a mix of rocket sand munitions, from anti-ship cruise missiles like the UVP to air-to-ground guided bombs, enabling everything from ISR, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, to SED, suppression of enemy air defenses. At cruise speeds of 233 km h, 145 mph, and max 297 km h, 185 mph, it outpaces many threats while minimizing exposure. Strategic Ripples, from deterrence to export gold. For Turkey, the TB3 is more than hardware. It's a force multiplier in a volatile neighborhood. 
Integrated with the TCG Anadolu, it extends Ankara's power projection, deterring aggression in contested waters like the Aegean and Libya's coast. As Selchuk Baykar noted, it's the world's first armed drone for short runway vessels, amplifying Turkey's unmanned fleet alongside the jet-powered Kızılelma. This synergy, drones swarming from a mobile base, echoes lessons from Ukraine, where TB2s shifted battlefields, but scales it to blue water ops. Globally, the TB3 cements Turkey's defense export dominance. Baykar's drones are in 33-plus nations' arsenals, generating 83% of revenue from abroad since 2003. In February 2025, Indonesia inked a deal for 60 TB3s with joint production, eyeing its own carrier conversions. Unveiled at ASDA 2025 in Zagreb, it drew Balkan interest amid Turkey's deepening ties. Critics might decry the arms race at fuels, but for allies, it's affordable deterrence, a $5 $10 million system, estimated, versus manned jets costing 10x more. The horizon ahead, drones, doctrine, and global tides. As the TB3 enters Turkish land forces inventory this September 2025, proving its dual role versatility, the unmanned revolution accelerates. Yet, challenges loom. Electronic warfare countermeasures, swarm integration, and ethical AI for autonomous strikes. Turkey's response? Relentless testing, like the April 2025 four sortie demo from the Gulf of Saros, firing Rocketsan UVP-122 supersonic missiles in networked ops with TB-2 spotters. In a world where seas are battlegrounds, the TB-3 isn't just a drone, it's a deterrent, a scout, a striker. It whispers a profound truth. In modern maritime conflict, the side that masters the unseen wins the waves. As Baykar pushes boundaries, one can't help but wonder, who's next to skim the surface? For now, Turkey sails ahead, unmanned and unstoppable. Smash that like button, drop your thoughts on latest military in the comments, and subscribe for more deep dives into global power plays. Because here at Intel Prime, we know power isn't always loud, but it's always strategic.